Um, nose is feeling uh, pretty good. Um, not as much pain in it. I mean, I started with the mask and I took it off early. Um, as much as I like, I worked out with it uh, just this morning. Um, trying to get used to it, trying to get a feel for it. I mean, I shoot it fine when I'm like working out. It doesn't really bother me, but I just feel like in the game, it's uh, I don't want it. So you kind of rip it off and throw it down like three minutes into the game. Is that was it just kind of frustration or just? Um, I think I did it because I missed the layup. So uh, I don't know. I blame the mask. It's not me. <laughs> no, particularly coming off the last two games, uh, how do you feel like you guys competed and, and performed tonight even though you didn't get the win? Um, I love the way we competed. I love the way we were playing for each other. I love the way we were talking. Um, you know, that's how we got to play. Um, I can, I mean, I'm not happy that we lost, obviously, but uh, losing like that, you know, um, especially being down uh, some bodies, um, the way we fought, the way, we, you know, we sustained some runs um, that they put on and made some runs of our own, taking the lead, you know, back and forth action like that. Um, it was good basketball, you know, a couple of mistakes that we made down the stretch, you know, we tighten that up. Um, we right there, um, but I like the way we competed. I think uh, we all need to look at this game and uh, learn from it and, and carry that over. And you know that's that's the level we got to play at every single night. You know, shots going in, shots not going in, uh, but competing, playing hard uh, is going to cover up a lot of mistakes. And uh, I thought we did that, especially you know being down some some bodies. What are some of the things that happen on the floor that you start realizing? Oh. This is going to be a game where we're fighting hard, we're competing every possession. Um, I, I think you see it early, just the way guys are, are pushing the pace, um, being physical, being into the bodies, being aggressive, um, talking, communicating. I think that was a, a really big thing for us um, that we talked about and shoot around, you know, uh, defensively, really talking, really communicating. That's the level um, that we got to get to. You know, um, you know, we were talking, communicating the, the coverages and everything where it wasn't perfect, but you know, we, we were able to cover up uh, for one another by just communicating um, uh, down the stretch of the game uh, early on when they went on their run. Uh, and that's, that's how we got to be for the full 48 minutes and going forward. Norm, how would you describe what Nurk gave you guys tonight? Um, big time, big time. You know, um, his presence in the paint, you know, his IQ with the ball, um, scoring, you know, um, I always talk to him about taking his time in the paint. You know, he, he, he's a big dude down there. A lot of guys can't guard him. You know, you take his time, finish. Um, he, he, was, he was great tonight. He was great for us. Um, and we need more of that going forward, giving the ball to Nurk, giving us another look, um, collapsing the defenses, kicking it out. Um, yeah, he, he was really good. He was aggressive. He was confident. Um, I like it. Let's go to the Zoom and take one from Eric Pentris. Go ahead. Hey, Norm, forgive me for looking too far ahead here, but you got four of the next five days off, obviously, you play at Golden State. Uh, maybe you get back almost everyone that's on the injured list for the Minnesota game on Sunday. Is that is this going to be a pretty good stretch, a big stretch for you guys, just to also get on the practice court, figure out some things, work out some things, and then maybe use tonight's game to say to everybody, hey, this is how we can play with the type of intensity that Phillips wants, and then maybe turn the corner of this thing starting with Minnesota. Sorry, it's a long question. Um, no, definitely. You know, I 100% agree with you. Um, definitely use this game, and <clears throat> uh, that's the level that we got to play at, no matter who's on the floor. Um, but you know, it's definitely going to be nice to have a couple days um, to get guys, you know, <clears throat> healthy, get guys back uh, in action. Um, you know, we got a tough team coming up, so we're going to have to, you know, rest up um, and uh, take this on the road. You know, we're not uh, a great road team uh, so far this year, but. Um, I think uh, one thing that we can carry over, no matter who's back um, or playing, is, is this level of energy and focus that we have for the 48 um, going against Golden State. And then um, taking those few days to, to tighten up some things, um, go over some film, actually get uh, some good time in practice and implement some new things offensively, defensively, um, <clears throat> some uh, foundational things that you know uh, we need to fix and work on that the coaches have been harping on, but we haven't had much time to actually go through. Uh, so, you know, after Golden State, I think it's going to be uh, a good couple of days for us to, to, you know, get back uh, settled in and, and how we want to play uh, going forward. Knowing the challenge that the road presents, is there anything you want to see or talk about or communicate from tonight's game and carry it into pregame Wednesday? Um, the biggest thing, you know, is, is uh, defensively um, being locked in and focused for the 48 and communication and, and just leaving it all out there. You know, I talked to a lot of guys 
um, before leaving the locker room, you know, and they're saying I, I gave it everything. You know, uh, they're, they're exhausted from how hard they play picking up, um, working the game, you know, trying to fight, claw, scratch. Uh, we were really scrapping out there, you know, and as long as everybody uh, who steps on the floor uh, feels that way at the end of the, uh, the buzzer, um, you can live whatever the, with, with whatever the result is. You know, we left it all out there. Um, that's the biggest thing. We got to do that on the road now. We got to take that same focus, that same energy, that same competitive spirit, um, top to bottom, and, and bring it on the road because it's only, it's only us out there. So um, that's, that's the one thing that I want to see uh, carry over. I don't care if we go 0 for 100, man, as long as we play hard, and that's, that's all that matters to me. Um, as long as we're competing, playing for one another, um, that's the biggest thing. And, um, I, I can live with, with, with everything else.